knows that he is related to the elephants, but no, we're actually looking at the close cousin of the rhinos and horses. I know it's really funny how the rock hyrax are actually more closely related to the elephants than our tapers here. Uh, over here on our right, we should start to see some of our elephants in this very first yard is where we have our females, Debbie, Mary, and Shaba. This is where we have our Asian and African elephants on this side. On the opposite side of the yard, that is where we'll see our two youngest elephants, Nebo and Sinzu. But it looks like our girls might be inside our elephant care center, which is this building over here to the right. And this is where our care staff work closely with the elephants every day. They'll come in and do routine health exams, like eye exams and dental exams. Yes, even our elephants have to go to the dentist from time to time. And you'll see as we turn the corner that everything is done through protected contact. And that's for the safety of our staff as well as for the safety of our elephants. And you can see we're getting ready to put out some fresh lunch over there for our elephants. Inside of that bin, you can see all of our fresh cut brows. And coming up over here to the right, we're going to be seeing our secretary birds. We have Stella and Charlie over here, bottom bottom right corner we have Stella and Charlie all the way over here on the left and you know Charlie just celebrated his third birthday not too long ago so happy belated birthday Charlie and the first thing you're going to notice about our secretary birds are those long legs right well those long legs are their hunting tools they like to stalk prey in the tall grass and when they find something that they're interested in eating like a snake or a lizard before they eat their food, they like to tenderize it by giving it a couple good hard stops with those powerful legs of theirs before they gulp their meal down in one big gulp. So I like to say the secretary birds cannot afford to skip leg day. They can skip arm day, but never leg day. Uh, over here, we're going to start seeing some of our elephants, hopefully. Oh, there they are. So up ahead over here to the right, we're going to see our two youngest elephants here at the zoo. This is going to be Nepo and Suzu. You can see one of them right at the back there. We'll get a better view of them a little bit up ahead. But you might be wondering to yourself, well, why do we separate the two herds, the males and the females? Well, that's something that occurs naturally out in the wild. Females will stay with their herd their entire lives since they are a matriarchal society run by the eldest female. But males, once they reach a certain age, around the age of 12 to 13, that's when they like to leave their original herds and go off and create their own bachelor herds, like the one we have here with Nepo and Suzu. Now, I know it's a little tough to see him, but he's actually hiding right behind those little branches there. So you can see a little bit of him back there. And just by having these two young elephants here at the zoo, it gives us a great opportunity to study young elephant behavior up close, which is something that's very hard to do out in the wild. And with all that information that we gather about our elephants, we share it with our conservationists working out in the field and our allies like the Ratati Elephant Sanctuary and another group called Save the Elephants. Both of those groups help to rehabilitate young orphan elephant calves out in Kenya. So these elephants here at the zoo are helping to rehabilitate wild elephants just by being themselves and allowing us to study them up close here at the San Diego Zoo. Up ahead, we're also going to see our dromedary camels. This is another one of our mixed species habitats. They also share the exhibit with our hawthorns. So you can see a bunch of our dromedary camels over here to the right. Those are the one hump camels. And up ahead, you're going to want to look up into the skies for our next animal. We're going to be coming across the California condors all the way up at the very top of the trees. And the California condors, they represent our Southwest Conservation Hub, and they're also the San Diego Zoo's 